So now let's get to the refrigerator. You got there on what date? June 25th. And the refrigerator was broken? Yes. And clearly, you rented this property with working appliances? Correct. What did you do when you found out the refrigerator was broken? And your food was destroyed when you got there, uncross. I um, put my food in, in the refrigerator, which was warm, and I texted Jack immediately, saying that I was afraid that it was broken. I said I would confirm that in the morning. When I woke up the next morning, my meat was spoiled, all my ice cream, all my frozen kind of products okay, so were melted. Broken. So I called both Jack and Michelle's cell phones, and I texted Jack, and I still received no response. I hadn't received a response the night before either. Didn't receive anything in the morning, so then I called the appliance repairman whose name was on a refrigerator magnet on the fridge. He uh, was able to fit me in. It was Sunday morning. He was able to fit me in and came in at 8.30, took one look at the fridge and said, this has been going on for weeks, if not months, and said, I can replace the control board, but you have to decide right now, and I need cash, $417. So once again, I texted Jack and called. Do you have those texts? Yes, I do. I'd like to take a look at them. Yes. Uh, page two would be when I first notified him, and page three would be the, the series of texts. Now, you wrote back to her, ultimately, and That's said, I, I'll talk to our appliance man, and of course, reimburse you. That's what you said. Mm -hmm. Great. $417. And what was the cost of the groceries that were destroyed? It was uh, $65.55. I was able to salvage all our dairy products and our cold cuts and things like that. I didn't charge them for. It's $482. Oh. Um, the plaintiff didn't give us an opportunity to repair or replace the refrigerator. Yes, she did. And not only did she, but your husband sent back a text indicating that he would reimburse her for the fridge. Do you want to see it? That would be great. Great. Thank you. A look at the lease. Back to the lease. Um, also, Your Honor, um, if I may... Let me show the, it to you. The lease... Do I think it ever? Thank you. He deletes his leases. Text. Text. Sorry. Fine. Um, so please to have fun. Someone bring you a new fridge within hours of knowing that talk to our clients. Man, of course, we'll reimburse you. I hope all is It's well. not so long. Right. It's okay. A, so, and of course, yes, reimburse you. I, I see this. And okay, so great. My husband was trying to be, um, even though our lease says contrary, the lease that the plaintiff signed says to the contrary. Do you have the lease? I don't. Uh, can I read it to you? No, you show it to me. Okay. No, aside from the fact that there were other things that were missing, by the way, because you do say that everything is in working order. Well, the refrigerator was not in working order when... The refrigerator was in working order when no, our tenant wasn't. checked out at 10 a.m. and no, when our wasn't. cleaning company left at 2 that same day. They, we have the letter. I don't care about the letter. You have a witness. I'll listen to a witness. The refrigerator was not working when they got there. And she did make every effort to contact you. According to her text messages, starting on Saturday at June 25th at 2.33 p.m., what she said, the first one is, there was a single fold-out bed that was in your description. That's not here. That was in the ad. And then Jack doesn't answer at 2.33. She finally says to him again at 6 o'clock at night, Jack with a question mark, and then he responds, and he says, I think that chair is gone. If you want to pick up an air mattress, I'll reimburse you, so whatever. And then she goes on. She said, I also think that there's a problem with the fridge, okay? And she keeps texting, but there's no response, and now it's Sunday. In any event, Jack said, no problem, we'll reimburse you. That's $482, $417 for the fridge and $65 for the groceries. We're done. Thank you.